has been added into Roblox specifically into KU low budget. Man, I cannot tell you guys how excited I will be when Kaiju Universe is actually back. But for right now, you can see we've got Evolve Godzilla just laughing in the face of the brand new character in this game, Scar King. And trust me, you'll be seeing a lot more from him later when we control him. We're going to be seeing all of his moves. We're going to be seeing how he stacks up against other kaijus height-wise and just looks in general. But for right now, we are Cappy. H how you guys think we, we, we look? Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and get us a kaiju. And look what they called him in this game. He's literally Evil Monkey. My boy is not called Scar King. He is just called Evil Monkey. And look at my boy. He truly does look like an evil monkey but i will say he does look kind of cool in this game i mean i would say it's like 80 percent accurate maybe even 90 percent he's got all the red you know kool-aid that he spilled on his body from his dinner earlier he's got the blue eyes looking amazing he's got the orange fur and all that and he's got this giant skull looking spine axe thingy or not an axe you know what this thing is it's basically a whip made out of like a spine or something like that it's kind of crazy and kind of scary and on the end of it you can see as it's, you know, being flipped like this, you know, kind of some blues popping off of it. That has to do with that Shimu crystal or whatever it is. And you can see right next to me, I now control Shimu. So we can just ride Shimu off into the sunset and fight Evolved Godzilla and Kong with his beast glove. Who do you think would win? Right now, I'm gonna go with Scar King because we're controlled. By the way, I didn't even know he could do this in this game. This is actually sick. The fact that Scar King can ride Shimu for so long, I actually love that. So forget about all the... Hey, hey, yo, hold up. Mecha G, get off of Shimu's back right now. It is supposed to be Scar King and Shimu, not Mecha G. He's just over here hitting dance moves, of course. Every single time I'm in this game, I always see Mecha G hitting the Gundam style thingy. All right, let's get back over here and check the moves. We got the number one move, the punch. And it's basically exactly how it's titled. It's just a left-hand punch. We've got the number two move, the whiplash. Oh, okay. I kind of like... One thing I like about this game, there's no, like, you know, time to hit again. You can basically just continue to hit like this. Now, the reason it works in this game is because you can't do any damage on players. Now, if you could do damage, that would be overpowered. You could just keep smacking over and over. That would be some cheese. What about the number three move, the bone spine? I don't know what that's supposed to be supposed to be okay basically like a godzilla tail whip and how much land or how much area does that cover bro that covers a lot and like i said in this game you could just keep doing it over and over spinning around hey, yo time out. what is happening over here we still got mecha godzilla dancing on top of shibu so you already know i gotta hit him with that bone spot here we go a little 360 yeah, it doesn't do any damage. I tried to tell you all. It just doesn't do any... Oh, hold up now. I just saw a move down there that I'm interested in. The number five move, the bone throw. If you remember from the trailer, when he wrapped the, the spine around a building and threw it at Kong, maybe that's what happens here. Hold on, let me go ahead and press it. Number five. Okay, it did not do that at all. What about if we are next to some buildings, though? If I'm in this... Okay, if it does this, I will give major props to KU Low Budget. If it grabs this building behind me and throws it, I'm going to be very impressed. Okay, it did not. I was about to say, bro, that was going to be crazy. And look at your boy, riding on Shimu's back while she's roaring. That kind of looks crazy. Look at Scar King. He's basically saying go. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying go this way, but Shimu is not listening. <laughs> Shimu's not even moving. You know what? Let me go to another Shimu because I feel like that would be sick. We, we might do like a Godzilla X Kong in KU below budget. Let's see if he does. I'm going to hit, hit number five. Oh, um, Shimu's dead. Never mind. All right, let's just go ahead and try the rest of the moves while we have them. We got the incoming roar, the R move. Ooh, and you can hear that roar, bro. That sounds exactly out of the movie, and it sounds lethal, man. Scar King's roar, where would you rate it? On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate it? I mean, I would give it like a 9.5. I just love the way it sounds. Uh, I love the way he looks when he's roaring. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a really good villain in the movie. And when I say good, I mean just super strong. Now, how does he compare against Kong with the Beast Glove in this game? As you can see, I'm running right next to one. And we're kind of like the same height. Kong is a little bit chunkier. And obviously, he has the Beast Glove and everything like that. But yeah, I mean, he's a gorilla. I'm an orangutan. He's supposed to be a little bit more chunky. All right, we got a few other moves to check out here. We've got the attack move, which is basically he holds up the spine. And I would imagine that's him saying attack to Shimu. I like that. So it would basically look like this right here. You can see Shimu. I'm Scar King on Shimu's back, pressing the attack move. And that's what it is. You press attack. And it's kind of like from the movie when they were both roaring. And he was, hey, yo, I kind of like this addition to the game. Hey, shout out to KU Low Budget, man. They are doing some really good stuff in this game. Only if KU comes back, though. Because if KU comes back, it's over with. I'm on KU. And imagine if they put these characters in the game. 
it is going to be absolutely insane. I really hope when KU comes back to, they could add like an addition to where Scar King could ride Shimu like this. Even if you could just jump on her back, that would be cool. But like, if you could press E and it would like jump on her back, that would be crazy with Shimu. Maybe just Shimu and Scar King. And then when they add Evolved Godzilla and Beast Glove Kong, it could do the same thing. Because in the trailer, you saw Kong jump on to uh, Evolved Godzilla's back. So maybe it can, it can do that too. All right, we got one more move to check out here. It's the glow move. And that, oh, okay. So the eyes glow if you press V. That's actually kind of sick. I don't I don't remember when his eyes were glowing. Oh, yes, I do, actually. You can kind of see it in the picture down there. From the very first trailer that we ever got, we just saw his eyes glowing, and we kind of got the fact that he was an orangutan from, you know, how skinny and the color he was. So I would say Scar King in this game, kind of a W. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I like everything about Scar King. I like the moves that they put in here. I, I like the effects, like the glow and whatnot. And I really like the fact that you can hop on Shimu's back. It just makes it more realistic for the move. I like that you can do that too. Jump on the back and then press the attack move. It just looks like you're about to go to war with uh, with Godzilla and Kong. I wish they would have... The, the only thing that I wish they would have done. Uh, if they would have added like a little crystal on the end of this thing, that would have... Actually, I mean, they kind of did, but not really. You can just see it's like a spike right here. If they added more of a crystal, like what Shimu just brought up from the ground. If she were to do that again, you could see the crystals... If they were to just put one crystal on the end, I, I think that would have been a little bit of a better touch. But I mean, from a perspective of what we have currently in Roblox, I would say this is right now the best Scar King version that we have. I mean, even the best Shimu right here. Mainly because, well, it, it's pretty much the only Shimu and Scar King that we have. But like I said, they're kind of the best that we got right now. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the brand new Scar King and let me know what you think uh, about, you know, the fact that you can jump on Shimu's back with Scar King. I, I think that's actually really sick. And yes, I know you can do that with pretty much any kaiju, but uh, like I'm saying, I, I like it because it's Scar King and Shimu, and I think we're going to be seeing some of that in the movie. Now, hold up. Like we did in the last video with Godzilla and Kong, I think we used, right? We're going to go back up to the top here, and, and we're going to see if Scar King looks like the king of the world, like Godzilla did Earth. By the way, I've totally been forgetting to sprint this entire time. Look how fast Scar King is over here. My boy is very quick in this game. Let me know what you think he's going to do in the movie, by the way. Do you think he's going to be faster or stronger than Kong? Do you think this axe or this whip, whatever, is going to be stronger than Kong's axe? I think it's going to be very interesting to see. And from when you're seeing this video, the movie literally releases in like one or two days, depending on where you're located. It, it literally, it might even be out where you are right now. So if you've seen it, let me know what you think about the movie. And look at my boy. He literally looks like he should be the king of this place. The Skull Island skull being right there, and the fact that he has a spine in his hand. I feel like he is the king of KU low budget right now, at least. Yeah, I think it's very possible that Scar King could become the king of the world, if not at least the king of the Kaijus. I don't know, maybe they set it up like that so that the next movie, they come back and destroy him. I don't really know. I mean, Godzilla does have plot armor in just about every movie, so I don't think that Godzilla's gonna lose. But you never know. We will be seeing very shortly. But for right now, this is what we got. We got my boy Shimu and Scar King chilling, taking over the world. Because I don't even see another evolved Godzilla right now. It's literally just all Shimus and Scar Kings. Oh, and this one random Shin Godzilla just standing in the middle of the ocean. Sir, are you okay? Yep, I feel like he's okay. He put his sunglasses on and he's starting to disco. Yeah, my boy's fine. Look how he stacks up against a normal Godzilla too. He's actually bigger than this version of Godzilla, but definitely a lot bigger than Godzilla minus one as he just changed. I wonder how he stacks up size-wise against evolved Godzilla though. Hold up, I gotta see that. At least in this game, you know what I'm saying? We're going to evolved lizard right here. And we're going to see how big he actually is comparatively. So over here next to Scar King, they're just all, they're calling for an attack. But you can see Evolve Godzilla is a little bit bigger than Scar King in this game. And you know what? He can also get hit with the, oh, look at him running. At least this one's dead. And um, we, we are kind of hitting him with the atomic breath a little bit. But yeah, it wasn't. What in the, bro, that's kind of sick. They got it up at the very top. Scar King and Shimu just chilling at the top of the building. Okay, hold up. No, I got to be a part of this action up here. There's another Shimu. And another scar. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. We've got... Uh, well, I made it to the top. We are now the controllers, the rulers of the world. We are at the top of everything with our very own Shimu at the top of the world, bro. This is, this is sick, dude. The thing that would make this game so much better is if you could actually attack. Like, imagine this coming at you right now. A Kong, or not a Kong, I'm sorry. A Scar King 
and a Shimu just running at you as a team. This would be terrifying in KU, and it would probably be a little too overpowered. Like, you could run with Shimu like this, hit the bone spawn, or you could hit the, the bone spin, and, you know, hit that move while Shimu just carries you, dude. That would be cra crazy. How do we just pick up another Scar game? If one wasn't good enough, now we got... Okay, never mind. He kicked us off. Well, we got another Shimu right here anyway. Catch up to him, big fella. We got to play chicken. If y'all have never played chicken in the pool, this is pretty much how it goes. Run straight at Shimu and see who gets knocked off. Me or this other Scar King? All right, well, Shimu doesn't want to do that, apparently. She just stopped and started to roar. Okay, you know what? Let me get back to this Shimu who's actually moving around. There we go. Nice. Here's a question. How many Scar Kings could Shimu have on her back? We currently have two with me, this guy, and uh, Shimu right here. We're just chilling on Shimu's back. I'm trying to get all the Scar Kings to get on Shimu's back right now. We currently have three Scar Kings on Shimu's back. And we also have a few Scar Kings down there. They should be re- Oh, look at them. They're all coming to Shimu right now. Let's go. We got the Scar King family over here. We got five Scar Kings on one Shimu. And Shimu looks like she can carry the weight. Okay, I got kicked off. But you get the idea. A lot of Scar Kings could ride on Shimu's back. And that would just be super OP, bro. Scar Kings would definitely rule the world. That's probably where we're going to end here, though. I mean, we've, we've done everything we can do with Scar King. And uh, we showed all the moves. Let me know what your favorite move is, and let me know what you just think about Scar King in this game overall. Me personally, my final thoughts, I think he looks really good. I think the character model is actually for this game. It's really nice. And I think the moves are just overall pretty sick. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't wait till KU is back and they can actually add some characters like this. But for right now, this is a great addition. That's the end of here, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. Goodbye. I got a new fashion. This is a new day. Look at your boot camping. Riding a new